Hello fellow humans and welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a wonderful weekend. Uh, let's paint with me. I was painting uh, the flower petals but when I did the, pa the paper really soaked up the paint so it, it dried really quickly. That's why I put an underlayer on the rest first. Even though these were oil paints, that's why it's so weird because oil paints usually don't dry that fast. Oh, as you can see right here, um, I had to redraw some of the petals because I couldn't see what what uh, where they were. Just a, a tip for if you. Uh, if you want to paint something, if you do the transfer method with uh, with pastels, make sure your your pastels have a different color than your underlayer painting because th that was really dumb of me. Really, I I had to uh, redraw pretty much everything. I had to cut a, the video a, a little bit short because, well, this, if you didn't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, this uh, painting took about 13 hours, so the editing was a bitch. <laughs> These roses were really fun to do. By the way guys, tell me if you... Uh, I've cut the video in half because I, uh, I thought it might be too long otherwise. Tell me in the comments, do you rather watch uh, a video that's 30 minutes long or that's about 10 to 15 minutes long? I don't really know yet what you guys like, so yeah, tell me. I'm really interested to know so I can optimize and adapt to whatever you guys like. But these tiny flowers, they were honestly one of the, my favorite flowers to do in the, the whole painting because they were, I don't know, they were simple. They, not these blue ones though. This one, I, I really screwed up this blue one. Not yet, but in a minute. Yeah, this is where I start messing it up. I could have made something really pretty out of it, but it just didn't work. I made this composition of the flowers myself. I just um, I went to Pinterest and I saw this cute little alpaca because someone suggested it on uh, on Instagram to do it. And I saw it. I saw it. It was a really cute one, and I, I really wanted to paint it, but just just an alpaca would be a bit boring. I, I didn't really feel like just doing an alpaca. So I, I edited some flowers on the top of his head and that was really really cute. Also someone suggested uh, to do something with flowers which sounded really fun because when I was at school um, the, one of the last things we did was a, a work in oil paints and 
I had so much fun with it. I think um, it was a raccoon with a lot of um, plants around it. Like, it took so long, but it was really fun to do. And well, the plants weren't exactly flowers, but I really wanted to do something with flowers again. And yeah, so, so this suggestion really. really give me inspiration I, I just I just basically looked some looked up some uh, some flowers on on Pinterest uh, good quality pictures because when you use low quality you uh, you won't see exactly what colors go in and you won't you won't be able to make it realistic. Oh, I love this angle. Look at it. This was a really fun flower to do, by the way, the yellow one. We'll see a better shot of it a bit later, but yeah. Other than this being a really fun angle to see the paints, I kind of did rea did realize I well first I have fat fingers, but I, that's just the angle I know that. But second, I hold my paintbrush really weird. <laughs> I've never seen anyone hold their paintbrush like this. Uh, comment down below if you do this as well. <laughs> But you know, at the end, whatever, whatever works for you, right? Guys, this this first video, the the next video is coming up next Sunday. Um, normally, if, if all goes well, but I I cut the video, the videos, both of them, in total down to about half an hour, which was quite hard to do, really, because well, like I said, it was a recording of nearly thirteen hours really wasn't easy. This is sped up really, really fast, by the way. Ah, here's the better, better angle. This was a real fun flower to do. You know, I've never really took time to look, to really look at flowers like this one before, but as you can see, these flowers have like a little red edge around the petals, which I've never seen before. Is there a, is there a flower specialist? that watches my videos because I would I would like to know what that flower that yellow one right here is called because it's really pretty I think we have we used to have one of these in, in our garden just one though and my mom was really proud of it I remember I didn't have a mother day mother's day uh, present so I didn't know any better to just <laughs> go pick the flower, <laughs> which she was really proud of, and give it to her. <laughs> yeah, not my proudest moment though. <laughs> Thank you.
I don't know if I've, I've ever told you guys this, but um, when you're doing realism, I find it easiest not to use much black because foreshadowing I mean because well in real life there when you see shadows it's, it's not black it's, it's a dark blue or a, a, an ochre or something like that but never black so yeah as you can see here I, I'm, I'm using brown or blue even a really dark pink a red But this is something I figured out, you know, just trying because, well, in the beginning I, I, I also used black, you know, but it never would turn out just the way I wanted to. So you try and you try and you do something different every time until you make it work. And it takes time. Oh guys, trust me, it's, it takes a lot of time. I was talking to my, uh, my friend the other day, who was also in my class, and um, well, he said, he, he said that he was, he sometimes was jealous of me. Because I could do things like this better than him. To which I said, well, don't be, because well, obviously he's better at, at, at other things than me. But also, guys, don't be jealous of, of other people for the skills they have. Just try more. That's... That, that's how I learned to do things because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be very honest I used to be very jealous of, of some of my classmates because they could paint better, better than me or because they could draw better than me and all I did to, uh, to fix that it was really simply simple actually I just tried and I tried some more and I kept painting and that's how you get better don't ever be jealous of someone just because they can do something better because jealousy won't get you anywhere it's, it's the practice that makes perfect. I know this sounds like something that probably a lot of people have told you. At least a lot of people have told me that. And I, I used to hate it when people said that. But it's true. That's what makes perfect. Anyway, back to the, to the video. I'm doing the sunflower right here and oh my god I love sunflowers I have I, I've been a one on my my sketchbook they're so fun and actually very easy to do because you, you you don't need much you don't need much skills you don't need you don't have to, to use so much paint you just and you can use your imagination because well, sunflowers are, in my opinion, a bit loose and have they they look like they have a free will. I know that sounds weird, but it's just I just feel like that's how sunflowers are. I just used um, an ochre, yellow ochre, a yellow and. A red to make this and a bit of brown it was really fun to do 
I love sunflowers. My grandpa used to grow them in, in his garden in the summer. I was always so jealous. I really was. But I could never pick one. <laughs> Here I'm doing the background. I really love this color, but it was it was quite dumb because as you can see I had to take a tiny brush and go around all the the little flower petals. Yeah. I should have done this first. Sometimes when you paint you really have to keep your head straight and not think about something else it was really dumb of me. <laughs> I really suck at filming though. <laughs> I really didn't think it was in frame. Oops. Yeah, guys, uh, like, follow, and subscribe. These are my socials. Uh, comment down below what you think I should do next. See you next time. Bye bye.